Welcome back everyone, today's makeup look is this Pearl Rose Chrome Finish Smoky Eye. I've already applied my Wonder 2 Cover Proof Foundation, so I'm going to move straight onto the eyes and I'm using Max Paint Pot in Painterly. And I've just used my fingers to press that over the eyelids. I much prefer to use my fingers to apply it as the warmth of your finger really melts the product. The first eyeshadow I'm using is by Makeup Geek and this is called Frappe. And the brush I'm using is my Blank Canvas Cosmetics E25 Flat Top Blending Brush. As this is quite a blown out smoky eye, you don't need to be too precise about this. You just want to pack the colour onto the brush and work that in circular motions through your socket. It doesn't matter if it does go onto your mobile eyelid, it's not a problem. Just get it on there and really blend it out. So keep working in circular motions until you get a nice gradient towards your eyebrow bone. Once your first layer is nice and even and well blended, we're then going to concentrate some more of that colour on the outer corner of the eye. So your placement of the brush needs to be on the outer corner first and then use what's left of the bristles to work that through the socket. The next colour I'm taking is also by Makeup Geek and this one is in the shade Bitten. Using the same blending brush, I'm working that colour onto the outer corner of the mobile eyelid and also where it meets the crease. Then using what's left of the bristles, I'm going to work that through the crease, again not paying attention to the fact that it may go onto that mobile eyelid, it doesn't matter at this stage. And then when I work my brush backwards in circular motion towards that outer corner, I'm going to make sure we're blowing that colour up and out. Again, you don't need to be too precise about this, you just need to get that colour on and just make sure you're really blending it. Remember this is going to be the base of our smoke, so we want to make sure it's really soft. If you need to, grab a clean blending brush and work that around the seams. I'm now applying a second layer of this bitten eyeshadow and I'm retracing my steps, starting off at the outer corner, working that through to the inner corner of the socket and then softening that very outer edge where the smoke tapers off. Going into another Makeup Geek eyeshadow, this one is called Americano and like the other two that we've used so far, this one is a matte finish eyeshadow. I'm using the same brush that I've used the whole way through so far and again, in circular motions, I'm working that colour on the outer corner of the mobile eyelid. Now I'm going to keep working the majority of that pigment in, in that exact spot. And when there's barely anything left on the bristles, I'm going to work that over the two eyeshadows that we've already applied on that outer corner. This is going to very subtly intensify that smoke. I'm also running that through the socket on the inner corner, so that when we do carve out the crease line, we've got a nice gradient of all those shades. Next I'm taking Corrupt, also by Makeup Geek, and this is their matte black eyeshadow. I'm using a Sigma E30 pencil brush to apply this because I want a little bit more precision with where this eyeshadow is being placed. I'm actually placing it over where we've applied Americano, so on the outer corner of the top lid and very subtly feathering that towards the middle. On that same pencil brush I'm going to dip it into a small amount of bitten and I'm going to soften the seam between the black eyeshadow and our socket line. Now to carve out the crease on our lid, I'm going to be using Soft Ochre Paint Pot, but ordinarily I prefer concealer, but I didn't have one to hand. I'm using my Sigma E56 Lid Shader Brush to do this. I've roughly applied one eyelid, and then I like to apply the second one and then go back in to neaten them and match them up. Now if you've got hooded eyes, this is a great technique to give you a false crease. And even if you don't have hooded eyes, it's a great way to make your eyeshadow really stand out and make it look really precise. Now, my setup doesn't allow me to be super close to the mirror, so I would suggest having a mirror right in front of you so you can really line it up and make it super precise. And I would also recommend trying to use a concealer over a paint pot because the paint pot is a little bit thicker in consistency and a liquid concealer is a lot easier to work with. You'll find it makes doing this process a lot easier and a lot quicker. I half wished I'd bothered to get up to find a concealer, but I'd already started, so I was going to persist with it. Once you get to the outer half of your eye where it's smoky, you just want to feather your brush backwards and forwards to blend it into the smoke. Next I'm taking this Model Zone Colour Chrome Kit in Vintage Pink. These are absolutely amazing. I'm using the same Sigma E56 brush to apply this. You can see that the consistency of these cream eyeshadows is quite thick, so it's very opaque and super reflective. So I'm just going along the eyelid, filling that in. Oh, by the way, you have to ignore my eyebrows because this was before I filmed my brow grooming tutorial which went up last week, so that's why they're a mess because I left them so I could film it for you. Now, as you get to the outer corner of the lid, again, you want to use a light hand and feather that colour into the smoke. Don't worry too much because we're going to be going back in with some of the black. Next, I'm taking Krylon's Aqua Colour Liquid Glitter in Pearl Rose. 
And using the same brush that we've been using, I'm applying that over the top of the vintage pink chrome that we've just applied. And this is just going to help to make it even more super reflective. A little tip would be to keep your eyes looking down until this completely dries. Next I'm taking Natasha Denona's Blackest Black Matte Eyeshadow. And I'm using this one instead of Corrupt because it's a lot more intense. And I'm applying this using that same pencil brush to the very outer corner of the eye. And I'm using the very tip of the brush to feather that colour onto that vintage pink chrome eyeshadow. Next I'm taking Sigma's Line Ace Liquid Liner in black. I'm going to draw a point at the very inner corner of the eye and pull that back towards the tear duct. And I'm just simply lining the very top lid from the inner corner to the outer corner and finishing off that outer edge with a small point. Along the waterline I'm using my Blackest Black pencil which is by Zoeva, the graphic eyes from the Black Box collection. So while the top lid is drying I'm running this along the waterline, then once I've finished all my eye makeup I'm going to come back and just redefine my top lash line. I tend to find when there's glitter on the lid you need to reapply your eyeliner so it's nice and defined and precise. Also layering the product means it's going to last a lot longer. Going back to my Sigma pencil brush, I'm taking Bitten and I'm running that underneath the lower lashes and I'm making sure I connect that to the outer corner of the top lid. Going back to my E25 blending brush, I'm softening the eyeshadow under the lower lashes and also around the outer corner of the top lid. Next I'm taking my Sigma E21 smudger brush and I'm smudging some of that Natasha Denona Blackest Black eyeshadow along the lower lashes, in between the lashes and meeting up with the end of that eyeliner along the tear duct area. I'm going to apply some Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, redefine my eyeliner and then I'm going to apply these Stephanie Lashes by Eskido. You can get 15% off with the code SHONA at the checkout. To add a little bit of warmth to the skin I'm using my Mascara Beauty Cream Contour in the shade Stone and I'm using my Zoeva 103 Definer Buffer Brush to apply this around my hairline and to my cheeks. To help define my cheekbones further, I'm using a small amount of Hoola by Benefit and I'm using that on my Zoeva 127 Luxe Sheer Cheek Brush. I'll also dust a very small amount around my hairline and the sides of my nose. Going back to my Vintage Pink Chrome Cream Eyeshadow, I'm going to add a subtle highlight to the very inner corner of the eye and also drag a small amount of that underneath the tear duct. This is going to help to frame the eye and also bring some more light underneath the eye. Next I'm taking my Too Faced Sweet Peach Glow Palette and I'm applying a very small amount of that to the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow. And then on a small detailer brush by Sigma, I'm dusting a very subtle amount underneath the brow bone and this is going to help to bring a tiny bit of light to that area. For the lips, I'm lining them using Charlotte Tilbury's Iconic Nude Lip Liner. And then I'm filling the lips in using Too Faced's Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in Child Star. If you're looking for a great liquid lipstick that's nude, then definitely check this one out. To bring back a little bit of warmth to the lips and make it a bit more pinky, I'm using this L'Oreal Extreme Resist Lip Gloss. I will list the name of it in the description bar. It is a little bit more pinky in real life. It's not really showing up on here, which is a shame, but never mind. So that completes my Pearl Rose Chrome Finish Smoky Eye. This look is perfect if you're going out clubbing with the girls or you're going on a date night and you like something super smoky. As always, please give the tutorial a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. If you'd like to see more of my tutorials, you can click on these now and it will take to those. And don't forget you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and they're all at Show Me Makeup.